Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a pretty little thing makeup tutorial review type thing. So if you wanna see what products I use and what I thought of the pretty little thing makeup products, then please keep watching. Okay, okay, so I haven't actually even opened any of these products, so like they're also in the wrapping, so I have no idea how this is going to pan out. Yes, I've never tried any of this, so this is like a full on first impressions vid. The packaging is cute though, like I think it's cute, it's like the classic pretty little thing, unicorn pink thing, and it's cute. So the first thing I'm going to do today is take the primer. So this is the only primer I'm pretty sure they had. This was the No Filter Matte Primer Base. Um, oh my god, why can't I open anything? So it comes in the like cute packaging and it's just plain bottle, very standard. Um, yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna start. I don't know, okay, so... <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can do this again. Okay. Uh, rub it in my fingers. It feels very silicone y. Oh, I really am not a fan of this primer. I'm sorry. It's like. I don't know. It feels like really silicone y. And I don't know if you. you come on. You don't know what a silicone y primer is until, unless you've had one. But it feels like really, really silicone. And I'm, I mean, my, I've had primers like that before. I don't mind them. But this just feels like any makeup I'm going to put on is just going to slide off. Right, time to wash my hands. Now that the primer's done, we're going to move on a bandage. soon. Okay, so foundation time. Um, so obviously it's online. I have no idea what shade I am. Like obviously it has like the bits like all up the arm, like what shade you could be. But I don't know what shade I am, like I can't tell from looking at that. So I picked up Golden Honey. Whether I'm Golden Honey or not, I have no idea. We're gonna find out very soon. So, it comes in the same packaging as the primer. I mean, I literally, I don't think you'll really be able to tell which is which apart from this one. They're different colours. I don't know. Oh. This doesn't smell great. Okay, and then just a flat blending brush. I don't know how much I need. I don't know what the coverage is like. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a bad match. I'd say it's quite good, actually. I mean, it looks a bit orangey. But... That's fine, we can work with a little bit darker. I really, I really want to know what this smells like to me. Like, in my head, this is something. I don't know what. I couldn't get any concealer. So I think we're going to have to double layer the foundation and see if that does the trick. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit on my beauty blender and like, that under my eyes and see if that works. Who knows if this will? Oh. I mean, my dark eye circles, what are they called? My under eye circles are like glowing. So next is powder so this is the setting powder in light and it's literally like a white circle um, not sure if this is going to replace my Laura Mercier to be fair like that is oh oh this might make me look less less orange I'm not sure I'm gonna love it but I mean, actually, it's not bad. It's kind of reminding me of that, like, one pound MUA powder that I used to have when I was about 12. Um, 
not sure if that's necessarily a good thing. But I mean, it's not it's not doing awful things to my face. Um, well, the flashback could be could be bad. I should we test it? Let's test it. Oh, flashbacks not great. So the next thing I'm gonna do is bronzer. So they didn't have any bronzer available when I tried to buy it. So what I've done is got the dark. No. Wait, it's called light. I did get I did get the dark bronzer thing. So it looks like this. So um someone's touched this. Gross. But let's just let's just see what we can do with this. Ooh. It's got a lot of fallout. It looks quite dark. Oh no. <laughs> There's a line here. Oh no. Not loving this as a bronzer. I mean, probably, probably not the worst bronzer I've ever had. Like, it's not orange, but it's really hard to blend out. Okay, so that is face done because there was no highlighter or blush. Um, maybe I could use eyeshadow. Okay, let's let's try using an eyeshadow as a let's see, let's use an eyeshadow. Okay. So this is the Sunset Boulevard eyeshadow palette. Actually, it's quite nice. Like the colours in there are pretty good. Like it's got quite a lot of colours. Which one should we use as highlighting? Mm -hmm. Right, I'm gonna use this one. Because if this works, it could be cute. Oh, got a gold nose. Cute. What if I put the white colour on top? Well, that is this just too much now. Let's try. <gasps> oh, oh, it's very severe. But am I living for it? So for eyebrows again, they didn't have like a, a pomade, and I quite like a pomade. So we're just gonna we can go straight in with the shadow. So I thought this this one was a sparkly, a bit of sparkly. So we're gonna use the shade below it, which I feel could be a bit disastrous. But let's see what happens. Okay, right. Let's just so this goes. They look orange. Why are my eyebrows orange? Oh my god, that patch. <gasps> uh, I'm really going for this highlight though. Should I try and darken it up with the brown, the sparkly one? Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Oh my god. No. <laughs> what is that eyebrow? I, I can't, like, or not. Okay, let's just do the other one. Okay, right. 
bride. Let's see if, let's see if we can salvage our brows with the brow gel. I got this in the color dark. Again, packaging, cute. So this looks like a mascara wand. Is this a mascara? No. I could so do my mascara. How is this gonna? This feels wrong. Doesn't this look like a mascara wand though? Like, if you pulled this out, I'd be like, oh, mascara. Better than that? I don't know. Um, okay, I'm gonna do one eye off camera and then we're gonna see what I create. Okay, so I've created this kind of bronzy, orangey, smoky eye. <laughs> so, for the first thing that I did is I always set my eye base, but I I have no base because there's no concealer um, and there's no white eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm just taking the light powder that we used to set our face and sort of putting this all over the lid. Yeah, great. I'm kind of hoping this will act as a, a kind of primer, but it won't. Okay, and then the next, the first colour really to start a transition, I'm taking. Can okay, you even see this? I have no idea. Uh, that one. That one. That one. The like orangey shade. So for this, just literally put this everywhere. All over the lid. Yep, this brush is so broken. So I have to hold it really low down. Like. Burn this all out. To be fair, I'm not gonna lie, these are not the worst eyeshadows I've ever used. I've used a lot worse. Um, the glittery shades aren't that pigment, but I find so many eyeshadows like that, so it's not like the end of the world. Okay, and then next I'm gonna take this colour, brownie colour. They're like brownie orangey colour, which isn't the darkest one, but it's one of the darkest ones. Okay, and then put this all under the crease as well. Just creating that nice transition colour. And then we'll go for the darker one, which is the one next to it, on the left. Then just start to bring that lower. And then take the top, top left, the really dark brown on a small blending brush and just like put that all in, the outer V, like normal. Um, so yeah, like these, this dark shadow is really not adding a huge amount. This is like my fourth layer. And <laughs> you can't tell. This goldy colour, so not the one we highlighted with, but the other one, the one next to it. And then put that all over the lid. And then go back to that gold colour, put that under the eye. Oh god, that was like in my eye. And then taking the this orange colour again. I'm putting that outside to connect it. And then, to finish it all off, what are we gonna do? We're gonna wipe it with a concealer brush off. Off. So yeah, basically with any flat concealer brush that you own, and just wipe it. So it just makes it like a little bit crisper. So, and it's not like the best eyeshadow look ever, but it's not the worst. Next, mascara. This is the full slash, uh, full slash mascara. So, oh, fresh mascara. Like, doesn't this look exactly the same to the eyebrow thing? Yeah, yeah. Put that on. It's a good mascara. Okay, so my card ran out of space. But as I was saying, I feel like I've got quite long eyelashes. 
don't think you're showing that. Not at all. Yeah, I wouldn't say they're great. Um, but anyway, that's basically all the makeup done. So, so basically, quite a lot of you know that I never wear eyelashes because I just, I just don't. Like, there's no reason. I just personally don't wear eyelashes. But I thought it'd be fun if I tried putting some on. So these are the Molly lashes. Go like this. But I've never put eyelashes on myself, but I've done it with my friends, but not me. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. So they didn't have any eyelash glue with them, so I had to buy this duo glue, which I feel like everyone needs. <gasps> oh God, that came out so quickly, what do I do? <sighs> so, how have you guys been? What's been going on? What's new? I feel it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, but probably when I post this, it'll be like past Valentine's Day. So I hope you all have a nice Valentine's Day. I get inspo from my previous video. <laughs> okay. Right, maybe maybe tweezers aren't the way for me. <laughs> okay, these need a cut. Like, I have, I have no words. Okay, so they're my lashes. These are called the, the Molly lashes. I don't know how people wear these every day and do them well. This was not a lesson how to put on lashes. Like, I'm so bad at it, but I don't know. This is, this is the final look, guys. So now that the makeup look is like completely finished and I'm done with the makeup, let's talk about the products, okay? Okay, so the first thing I used was a primer. The primer, it's not bad, but it's not good. Like, I can't actually test it unless I wear some makeup throughout the day, which I'm not going to do because I just got home from work and I want to put my pyjamas on. But, so if you like a silicone based primer, then definitely try this one um, because I feel it's quite cheap. I think it was like two quid, like unreal. But try this one and see what you think because it might last like silicone, but I, I personally don't like silicone based primers because I feel your makeup just slides off and it's gone. Um, foundation, I'm not loving this foundation. It's settling in all my pores, which probably is actually part of the primer as well. Um, it's not got good enough coverage. I feel like I can see all my spots. I just, I think me and this foundation are going to get on. So, that's foundation. Powder. So, powder's fine. Um, bronzer was a bit hard to blend out, but that is because it is a setting powder. And then, yeah, that, the powder was fine. I think everything was like two pounds apart from the palette. So, if you need a powder, then definitely get it. Like, it's cheap, it's easy, it's not awful. Um, I mean, make sure the foundation stay. And then highlights. So I think the highlight's great. Like, ooh, shiny. I don't even know if you can see. Basically, it's really glowy. Um, even though it's an eyeshadow palette. So the eyeshadow palette was hundred p my fave thing of this whole like whole video. Um, I think it was six pounds, and you get so many good colours. The shimmery ones are quite shimmery. They give like a nice glow. You can use it as a highlight. The non what am I trying to say? The non the non shimmery colours. The the opaque colours is that is that how you describe it i don't know the ones that don't have the shimmer in i think they're actually really nice like they blended out really well i think the eyeshadow palette is definitely the best product so if you're going to buy anything from this whole video eyeshadow palette is definitely the one that i'd recommend and then oh my god i didn't talk about brows okay so brows i think obviously personally i wouldn't get the brow gel it reminds me too much of a mascara wand um like my my brows are like orange you can't really see but they're basically orange but that's because I didn't have a brow, a brow pomade and that's what I like to do my brows with so maybe steer clear from the brow section even though it was a eyeshadow 
and then a brow gel. But the brow, the brow gel's, the, I don't know. I don't really like the brow gel. I think it's too much like a mascara one for me to like it. But the last product was the mascara. No, it wasn't. Well, like, yeah, the last like technical like product product was the mascara. So the mascara was not great. Um, <laughs> I think it's one of those mascaras that just it feels cheap. Like everything about it's cheap. Um, it doesn't lengthen your lash lashes. It doesn't volumize them. Um, it makes them look quite short, but not short. It just makes them look like a bit darker. So if you want to tint your eyelashes, try this. But if you want to like lengthen or volumize them, then I don't think they're great. Um, and then the eyelashes, like this is my first time ever wearing eyelashes and they're called the Molly lashes. I think they're like so extra and like quite big. But I mean, for what, for how much money they were, I think they're probably quite good. Um, I can't really rate eye, eyelashes that much, but like maybe I'll start getting into them. I feel they add too much drama, you know? But maybe if you like eyelashes, try some, because they've got so many styles up there, like hundreds. So definitely look through and see if there are any like less extra styles <laughs> but yeah so i think actually my favorite thing from this whole collective thing was definitely the eyeshadow palette so that would be the one thing that i recommend so get the eyeshadow palette it's cheap it's easy to use get a lot of colors for your money and they are quite pigmented so i would definitely recommend that um and also let's just talk about the packaging one more time oops Obsessed. It's so cute. But I love pink unicorns. Okay, yeah. So yeah. Um, but that is basically my review of the Pretty Little Thing products. So. Hey guys, so that is the final video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you next time.